Now we have a guide. Now we have a guide. All right, Shalom, Makim. It's a high spirit wind, Judah, of the Jim Mess, Mississippi camp. Giving our honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rakai, Kodash. I just want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops, the great millstone who rule well, and peace and blessed house, David the elect. All right. So now I want to go into a topic. All right. Going into, you know, now we have a guide. All right. And I just so happened to have looked up a word through the spirit called a compass. Now, a compass is, as it says in the first definition, a device that is used to find direction by means of a needle that always points north. All right. Because you can gauge when you have a compass, it's an actual device. Let me let me pull it up right quick. All right. Just to give a visual. All right. Compass rose. All right. If you have a compass, all right, it's, it's really something that you use within a map, all right, and it always points north, so you can gauge where you're going, all right, because it's always set at north, all right, so if you know where the north is, then you know where what, the west and the east is, all right, for example, you got something called the North Star, all right, now, this is something that the southern kingdom would reference when they escaped the plantations. It will follow the North Star, man. All right. Which they has something called the Little Dipper and the Big Dipper. And I believe it was the Little Dipper at the tip of it was the North Star. So if you know that that's the North Star, there's a direction going north. So if you lived in the south, then you know that the way uh, opposite of the south is the north by looking at the North Star. Furthermore, if you know where the north is, you know where the west and the east is. Therefore, you know where the south is. All right. So <clears throat> the most highest earth, all right, can be used as a, 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 a GPS, man, all right, as a map, all right, just to give a little, you know, illustration, all right. So going back to the definition, a device that is used to find direction by means of a needle that always points north. Now, this is the definition that I want to use for this lesson. It says something that helps a person make choices about what is right effective i'll read that again a compass something that helps a person makes choices about what is right effective and i want you to take a wild guess about what that is what is that something that we now have all right that is used to help us make choices about what is right all right what is that something okay and it's this word all right, let me get that right quick. So basically a compass in a, in a figurative sense, in a moral sense, it's a guide, all right? It's a guide, all right? Sirach, this is Sirach, um, this is Sirach, bear with me one second. All right, Sirach 20 and 32, necessary patience and seeking Yahweh is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. I read that again. Sirach 20 and 32. Necessary patience and seeking Yahweh is better than he that leadeth his life without a guide. So now we have a guide. All right. Compass. Something that helps a person make choices about what is right. Effective. All right. It's almost as though. All right. You have a GPS system, right? And when you're driving, if you have an earpiece, all right, or you have the audio on, all right, there's an actual voice telling you, turn left, turn right. All right. It might it make it might make adjustments on the road for you. It'll tell you that there's danger ahead. All right. It might tell you that you're driving too fast. All right. Now we have a guide. We have a compass, a moral compass. Two thirds of our people are in the state they're in, ultimately because of their transgressions back in the ancient world, but presently because they don't have a guide. All right? They don't have a guide. You see? Isaiah 30 and 20. All right? This is Isaiah 30 and 20, giving us our guide back. And though Yahweh give you the bread of adversity and the watcher of affliction, 
Yet should not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. Hence the elder apostles and great millstone. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers. And we see them by way of what? The internet. Verse 21. And thy ears shall hear a word behind them saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. What is that? It is the word. It is the comforter. But it is a guide. That's our compass. The word is our compass. That's the word in our, in our spirit saying, turn left, turn right, <clears throat> roadblock ahead, danger ahead. All right. And thy eyes shall hear, I'm sorry, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way walk ye in it. Turn left, turn right. All right. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, that's the spiritual navigation. All right. Compass definition last time. All right. Here's an example. It says something that helps a person make choices about what is right, effective, etc. His religion is the compass that guides him. And what is our quote unquote religion? It's our heritage that within our heritage contains the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's our guide. That's what we have direction. That's our north star. That's our compass. All right. That's our compass, all right? And without that, you are lost. You are misguided. You lack direction. Two-thirds of our people lack direction. That's why they're lost. That's why the majority of our women, they're lost. They're misguided. Two-thirds of the men, they're misguided. Literally. They lack direction, all right? So, hey, with that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. All right, once again, I, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakudash. I also want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to the elect, Ababa Ball, Kamehameha, Shalom.